Hey guys, so as you guys know, I already had the Foley catheter for quite some time and one of the things that I mentioned in the past was that I have a little sticker on my leg that holds it in place so that um, it doesn't like get snagged on or anything. And recently I found these um, through a mutual friend on Facebook. Um, she's in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in that have to do with spina bifida. And she sent me two of these. Um, I'll put a shout out to her in the description in the, of this video. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the difference between this one and the one I currently have. So one thing I do want to point out though is that this one obviously um, I can take on and off. Whereas the other one is a sticker. And the other one I can't get wet. Whereas this one I believe I can get it wet. I just don't want to because I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. So let me show you guys um, the difference between the two. Right now my catheter is unhooked from this one and the other one. Just so I can show you how it's placed on both of them. So let me show you really quick how I do that. Alrighty, so this is the um, catheter that I have right now. So I put tape on it because I have um, a backpack that I put the catheter in when I go out because it makes it easier just to carry around but I'll show you guys that in another video so basically this is the one that comes with the catheter this is in the kit when they put in the catheter at the hospital so basically this it spins so that um, it moves with me so if I was to move my leg a certain way um, it wouldn't get snagged on so to open it um, there's a little thing right here on the side you just push it and then pull up and it opens up so it has this little um, pokey thingy, I don't know what it's called. So um, basically what you do is this side is a smaller opening than this side. So obviously the thicker side goes on this side. So what you do is you just place the catheter and the little pokey thingy has to go in the middle because then it holds it in place so that it doesn't snag. And then you just push this over it and it clicks. And then you can it'll move with me the only bad thing like I mentioned is that this can't get wet and after time since I can't wet it I have to cover it with um, saran wrap that I have upstairs and some tape which is this one I just put a larger amount obviously because it's on my leg to cover this and I mean as you guys can see it's like building up um, some of the like dirt residue so yeah that's the only bad thing that I don't like is the fact that I can't wet this part but other than that, I mean, I like it. It's It's been on my leg already for about two weeks, so it's it's good. So that's how this one works. It moves around with me, and like I said, you just push this button to lift it, and then I can take it off. And I unhook from this every single night when I go to bed just so I can have some more freedom, and I won't have to have it just hooked up to my leg. But, um, yeah, that's how this one works. And then for this one, basically all it is is... It's Velcro for one, which is great. So um, just for video purposes, I'm gonna put it onto this leg. Um, so basically all it is is I put it around my leg and then it stretches like a lot so anybody can wear it. And then just do that. And it's really soft and on top of that it's latex free so I'm, I won't be having any allergies from it. I can turn it whichever way I want it which is good. So basically for this one it's a little different because obviously it doesn't have the little clip thing and it doesn't spin. So these um, have two little um, straps that hook up. This has like a little um, part that sticks to the velcro. So basically you see this right here it has like a little part that's sewn into the strap that goes around my leg right there is where you're going to place this thicker part not this little piece just the thicker part so what it is is it holds right here and then this part the smaller strap there's a hole right here so what i'm going to do is pull this over and then in that hole i'm going to insert that little strap pull it through and then it sticks to here and then this part like I said has an also a part that sticks to the velcro I'm gonna pull both sides like that so that it gets held in place and then it just it's locked right there so it's not gonna go anywhere 
And then this part obviously is out here so that if I ever do snag on this for whatever reason like that, this part holds this in place and it doesn't allow it to go anywhere. And again, like I said, I can move this anywhere I want. So if I needed to go this way, or more that way, I'm able to do so. And it's really, really comfortable. It's really soft. So this, these two are the um, only two that I've tried for holding my catheter in place. But so far, I've used obviously this one for longer than this one. I just got this one not too long ago. But so far, um, this one feels a little bit more like secure on me rather than this because this is a sticker. And after a while of me walking with this, I feel like I'm going to pull it off. Whereas this, it stays there. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So that's the two different um, stabilization devices that I have for my Foley catheter. Um, like I said, one I have to cover up so that it doesn't get wet because if it does, it can fall off. Whereas the other one, I can take it on and off um, as I need to. So um, for this one, obviously, I would take it off for showering just so that it doesn't get wet because like I mentioned, I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. Um, so until this sticker pretty much falls off, um, I'm going to continue to use it until, um, until then I'll just use the sticker until I can use the strap later on. But yeah, anyways, that's all I have for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.